Um, the course is A2 Communication and Culture, and that's a level three course, so it's the second year of an A-level programme. Um, what we're currently going to do today is to continue applying some of the Marxist theory that the students have been learning over the last week. So it's part of the preparation for their critical theory, which is part of their COM3 exam that they'll take next year. I'm looking at, uh, for them to apply the theory that they've learnt, so I'm checking learning in terms of what we've done over the last week or so, and we're specifically looking, because it's a comms subject, we're looking to see how well they can apply the cultural theory to uh, an example, a case study, if you will, which we're going to look specifically today at, um, a music video, which is Madonna's Material Girl. By the end of the session, I'm aiming to make sure that all the learners have understood the theory to date and that they're able to apply the critical theory not only from the stuff that we studied this year, but last year, because we look to build up synoptic skills over the A2 year as part of their COM3 assessment. So I'm looking to see that they're understanding the current theory that we're learning, but also that they can apply the things that we've learnt before um, and ideally to bring all of that together in a cultural reading. So by the end of the session I'm aiming to get them to do a cultural reading of Material Girl, applying the theory that they've learnt. So the whole narrative of it, if you like, is all about Madonna selling herself as a commodity, which you kind of talked about as well. That's really good, thank you. Um, Maisie and Jordan, Jordan, can you add something for me? So what have you come um, up with? Looking at you, when you think of like pop music and like pop culture in general, you good. think of people like Madonna, uh, yeah. Michael Jackson, or like Lady Gaga and things like that. Yeah, good. If you look at the yeah. colours they've got as well, it's all sort of red, pink colours, like arousal colours. Good. So for the way that like, her expression, yeah. she stands out, she's got sort of like a Marilyn Monroe yeah. look going on, so Excellent. she's standing out. And then if you look at the uh, picture in the top left of it, the man mm -hmm. actually staring, holding the heart at her, mm. as, almost as if like, so you can have this yes. straight away, so he's giving into it. Good. He says, well, Madonna, we're not sure if it's a real name, is it a nickname? It's, yeah, it's, it's a stage, stage name, isn't it? Graphics yeah. or something, because it's like Madonna and Child, like Very good. Mary. Very good, yes. I'm convinced it really isn't, but it's just like, it's so iconic. Yeah. Literally builds on her iconic kind of statement. It does, yes, good. So status, gaining status, and the way that she does that through this particular text. Good. The use of hearts as well, because yeah. uh, it's, it's mostly a Western symbol. It is used throughout the world, but over here it has more significance. You yeah. have to be socialist, you know what that is. You do, very good. If you, if you just threw that into a, <coughs> a remote Brazilian tribe, they would look at it What is that? What is it? What's the point of it? Absolutely good. So we're kind of enculturated into knowing this is to do with romance yeah. and sexuality, linking back to your point about you know arousal as well, along with the colours. Excellent stuff. Well done, you two. Very good. Okay, I'm just going to come over to you two for some comments. So, Joe, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, we did a lot of the similar stuff about the love heart, mm. being quite emotive mm -hmm. and stuff. And then we also looked at um, her posture. Yeah, good. What about her posture? Sort of similar to the style, but the statement. Michael. Yeah, good. So the statement of the body language, again linking in theory from last year. Yeah, the NBC. Good, thank you, Jay. Sam? Uh, just about in pictures about her jewellery, yeah. which sort of signifies her well. As Excellent. well as um, like the pink dress and the posture, sort of share femininity. Yeah, good. I'm really interested in this idea of wealth, of course. What is it in a capitalist system that's particularly important? Capital, yeah, absolutely good. So this whole narrative, again, to come right back to the first point we had, is about commodity, it's about wealth, star power, so cultural value, but also economic value. And this notion of the material girl is going to be important too. Laura, she's almost like an ideological state operator. Oh, very good, yeah. She's just showing what the, everyone thinks is the ideal woman. Mm. So she's just a power symbol. Really. Excellent. So we can see her as a symbol and powerful in her own right.